The punish a range for that is a minimum of two years. One of the questions that I get quite often, they're driving on the roadway and they're stopped, they're alleged to be intoxicated, and they have a child. Driving while intoxicated is a very, very serious crime in Texas, and it's prosecuted very seriously. I'm criminal defense attorney Tim Powers, and we're talking about DWI today. DWI cases, driving while intoxicated, has certain elements. And elements, as a point of reference, are quite honestly what the state has to prove in order to convict you. Nobody cares what you're drinking or why you may be intoxicated or what other reasons there are for maybe bad driving. The elements of DWI are a particular person, typically yourself if you're under investigation, on or about a certain date in Denton or Collin County, the county of jurisdiction, in a public place operating a motor vehicle while you're intoxicated. There are two main points of contention in the elements, typically operation. Can the police prove you're operating a motor vehicle? In a single car accident, for example, when the driver is already out of the car and maybe gone home, can they prove that a particular person was operating a motor vehicle? It's a really good question, and a lot of times they can't what we call wheel the driver, put the driver behind the wheel. The point that we fight about the most is intoxication. Intoxication has three mutually exclusive definitions. One is above a .08 with a breath test or a blood test. That's approximately three drinks in your system to get to that legal standard of .08. And a drink is a standard drink, a 12 ounce, what I call a regular beer, 4.2 to 5% alcohol. Uh, if it's a IPA or a revolver, typically you have to factor those higher. If it's not a 12 ounce bottle and it's a pint, you have to factor that higher. A six and a half ounce glass of wine or champagne or an 80 proof one and a quarter shot of any whiskey, vodka, tequila, any hard liquor. That's a standard drink. About three standard drinks in your system at the time of the blood draw would be presumptively intoxicated. It's a rebuttable presumption. Additionally, if there is no blood test or breath test, or we've been able to suppress that blood test, then what can happen is the state can attempt to prove DWI by what they call loss of normal. The loss of normal use of mental faculties or the loss of normal use of physical faculties because of the reason of introduction of alcohol, a controlled substance, or drug, or something else in the body or bloodstream. And DWI at that point becomes an opinion crime. The officer, the prosecutor, or a finder of fact would have to form the opinion that you've lost the normal use of your mental or physical faculties. DWI cases are very, very complex cases. They have lots of issues. Surcharges in Texas, driver's license suspension, and if you have been stopped or arrested for DWI, hire a good defense attorney, somebody that's aggressive and somebody that will fight for you. If you're arrested or investigated in Denton or Collin County, Texas, call on the law offices of Tim Powers. In Denton, 940-483-8000. In McKinney, 972-724-4820. Or look us up on our website, timpowers.com. We fight for you, the law offices of Tim Powers. Call us today.